In Anime Studio Pro 11, we now have the ability to change targets mid-animation. This can make working with target bones much easier and much more versatile. As an example, we have a character on screen here, just a superhero fighting evils, of course. And near the end, he gets hit by a powerful blast and he goes flying back. Now you can very much tell with this animation that we have target bones in place because his legs are stretching according to those targets. Now, what we could do here, if we wanted to, is go into that character's bone layer. So I'll just come over here and superhero and then go to Nova. And you can see all the bones in place. And you can definitely see where the targets are right there. So again, let's say we're working on this and for whatever reason, we want to change the targets of those legs or we want to maybe just detach the targets completely for a while or forever. It doesn't really matter what you want to do. What does matter is Anime Studio can do it. So we're going to select one of the leg bones. Let me just grab the select bone tool, come over here and click on this leg. Now I'm going to come up here to bone constraints and then choose the target. You can see we are targeting T1, which is of course this target right here. So I'm just gonna come in and this time I'm going to choose none. Now again, keep in mind, if you had another target somewhere that you wanted to switch to, you could just choose the target from this list. Either way, it will work. I'll choose none for this example and then close. So now it's been detached and that's nothing new. However, what is new is if we back up, you can see that that leg is still very much attached to that target all the way through up until this point when I detached it. And we can definitely tell this as well, if we come down here, you'll see we have a new channel for bone targeting. And we have a keyframe right there indicating a change was made. And the change of course was us detaching the target from the leg. And again, this is a very basic example. We could go in, for instance, and create new targets. And maybe when the character flies back, we could have those targets attached to the arms. So his arms stretch as well as his legs when he goes flying back. So again, many different uses here. Just know you can now retarget bones mid-animation with Anime Studio Pro 11. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio or more tutorials, visit anime.smithmicro.com.